Hello Aquarius, I'm here to give you insight and guidance for the new, no, the full moon in Libra, which is going to be on the 28th. I want to thank you guys so much. You guys have came in at number one for the most views, so I really appreciate that. So I decided to give you guys a treat and let's just see what the full moon in Libra uh, wants you to know. So, you know, Libra rules the seventh house and the seventh house is the house of relationships and partnerships. Okay, so um, relationships and partnerships are really going to be highlighted uh, for you guys and well, really for everyone. Um, but for you guys, um, it's really important for you to just really evaluate your relationships, not just relationships you have with others, but the relationships you have with yourself. And of course, on the full moon, it's, it's a time of fulfillment, a time of gratitude, a time of, you know, reflection. So some of you may need to rejoice a little bit more, uh, witness the fulfillment you have within the relationships with others or within yourself and show more gratitude within your connections and partnerships um, as well as reflecting some of you may need to reevaluate relationships or re really reflect um, how your relationships are you know uh, maybe reflect on what roles you're playing in your partnerships or your relationships so either way we're not gonna get too deep into that okay so I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what the woman in Libra wants you to know okay all right, and I'm going to be using the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Guide. Okay, the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Guide. So this is just going to highlight, you know, your chakras as well as giving you a message. Okay, so what is Libra? Not Libra. What is Aquarius needing to know? Some of you Aquarius may have Libra in your chart. <laughs> Also, it's taking a look at your identity as well. You know, I mentioned what role you're playing in your relationships. You know, what role you're playing in your life. So a lot of you are going to be really finding your, like you guys going to be really finding your true identity. You guys are going to be really um, searching for that. Some of you, okay. Um, others of you, it's just reflecting, you know, seeing what role you're playing in your life and how you can um, initiate some changes that need to take place. Let's see here. Okay, so Aquarius. Aquarius. What's wrong with you, Aquarius? Or what are you needing to know, Aquarius? What's wrong with you? Okay, faith. So this is purple. Okay, this is the third eye. So this is learning to see without sight. So this is really using your intuition. So faith. I'm hearing there's a need to lead by sight. Excuse me. There's a need to lead by faith and not by sight. I don't know why my words have flipped. Please don't mind me. Okay. So it's a call for you to lead by faith and not by sight. Okay. Self-worth. This is orange. So this is the sacral chakra, and this is learning to observe emotions, okay? So it's going to be a call for you, Aquarius, to be more aware of your emotions, okay? The emotional relationship you have with yourself and also others, but it says self-worth, so some of you are needing to have more self-worth, okay? Accept yourself for who you truly are as well. Some things may have taken place where you have been emotionally damaged or you've been aff aff um, afflicted emotionally. So it's really a call for you guys to begin to heal from this. Okay, begin to heal. Be more aware of your emotions. Okay, and then we have vanity. So this is blue and this is the throat chakra. And this is all about finding your way of finding a way to express yourself okay find your own unique way to express yourself and it's vanity as well so vanity you know there is an energy of some of you maybe feeling as though maybe nothing's wrong you know you're just fine um, it's, it's a, I'm too good I'm too good energy. Um, there's also an energy of holier than thou. 
okay it doesn't matter how good you look everybody needs healing okay everybody needs healing it doesn't matter how much money you have everybody needs healing okay but this is an energy just really of like being too good okay being it's like and also an energy of like i'm too smart i kind of know i know it all all right so this is an ego card here so some of you really need to put your ego to the side okay really put your ego to the side when it comes to the healing that's needing to take place in your life okay i'm gonna keep hearing holier than thou i don't know why okay so some of you put your ego to the side put your differences to the side as well okay so you can move forward this is also other people's ego, being aware of other people's ego as well. You could be dealing with someone who has a really big ego, someone who uh, feels holier than thou, okay? Some of you are needing to express how you truly feel to this person. There could be a little bit of fear as well when it comes to this person, okay? Or someone may feel that way about you, okay? Maybe they're having a hard time expressing themselves. I'm also seeing this as affirmation. Um, maybe you're needing to have a little bit of vanity. Maybe you're needing to have a little bit more ego and confidence in yourself. That goes back to the self-worth. So Aquarius, it could work out that way where you're needing to see yourself as a um, an amazing being. Someone who is one of a kind. Okay? It goes hand in hand with the self-worth and vanity. It's understanding that you are a king. It's understanding that you are a queen. It's accepting that. It's claiming that as well. Okay, so let's see what the crystal oracle has to say. This is a crystal reading cards. Okay, I'm going to pick three cards. What is the full moon in Libra I want you to know? Okay, emotional he healing. Okay, emotional healing. It's highlighted again. Okay, so this is a time for emotional healing. This is also a time for compassion. So having more compassion for yourself, having more compassion for others. Okay. And then we have clarity. So another blue card here. So blue is the um, throat chakra. Clarity. And I really see this as self-affirmation. This is coming through as self-affirmation, being very clear, okay, about who you are, being very clear about the beauty and the charisma that you possess, that you have, okay? This is being very clear, okay? And this clarity could just be communicating clearly, okay? Putting your fear to the side, putting your ego to the side and communicating clearly, okay? Understanding yourself in the situation and the role that you play clearly. Okay, understanding that clearly. Okay. Wow, so it's going to definitely call for you guys to have faith doing this, um, doing this full moon. And also work on emotional healing. Having more compassion for yourself, self-worth as well. Um, also uh, speaking positive affirmations, okay, about yourself. Okay, putting your ego to the side when you're needing to because sometimes you got to put the ego to the side so you can have that compassion, so that love, that compassion can shine through. Okay, it's being understanding as well. Okay, so that's going to be the end of your reading, Aquarius. I hope you guys liked it and I wish you guys an amazing full moon in Libra and I will see you guys next month for your monthly reading. God bless.